Welcome to another edition of the Main Event Minute here. Rashawn Myers, Haven Harrington, the host of the Main Event Sports Show. Uh, Haven has been an absolutely crazy, crazy week for uh, the University of Louisville, especially for the uh, football Cardinals, of course. First, congratulations. You see I'm wearing my Heisman Cardinal. Congratulations, uh, Lamar Jackson. The first ever Heisman Trophy winner in the history of the University of The youngest Heisman Trophy winner ever in the history of the Heisman Trophy. Lamar Jackson is the youngest Heisman Trophy winner. No, just amazing, though. Coming from the city of Louisville, we had the, at that time, the youngest heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Now we have the youngest Heisman Trophy winner and Lamar Jackson. Big ups, University of Louisville. Uh, also, big ups, University of Louisville, for the day after the Heisman uh Ceremony there, we had two of our football players shot, which kind of leads into what we want to talk about, the Wakey Leak scandal. Probably one of the worst named scandals in the history of scandals, Wakey Leaks. I think it's kind of funny, though. It's a horrible name. But <laughs> we'll go with the Wakey Leak scandals. For for those who don't know, uh, one of the assistant coach, or not even assistant, he's a broadcast guy. Yeah, play-by-play uh, analyst. Play-by-play play analyst left. Basically, he called a bunch of people. Since 2014, he's been calling teams and saying, hey, I got the playbook to Wake Forest. It's money. It's hot like fire. Come on. You can beat Wake Forest. I will give you the playbook. You can go ahead and go ahead and go on with it. Uh, you know, several teams have been implicated in the Wakey League scandal. Uh, University of Louisville being one of them, or Virginia Tech. You don't know the other school, really. Nobody cares because – and nobody really knows about Virginia Tech, to be honest with you, being part of the Wakey League scandal, some of the three schools now – only school people know about is this one. You're a University of Louisville school. Now, why is it that U of L is the only school that, that you hear in the Wakely scandal? Sean, please explain to us why. I haven't heard too much about Virginia Tech. Outside the line, ESPN didn't do outside the lines on Virginia Tech in the Wakely scandal. They didn't do outside the lines about whatever the other school was. Uh, it was on Sports Center. Louisville was the only team, only school that made it to, to Sports Center. Outside the lines. Every talk show host in the country has been talking about Wakey Lee scandal. Rashawn, why Louisville? Well, I, I, you know, I, I just think that whoever does the um, the PR for the University of Louisville needs to get fired. That, that They need to get a new uh, group of folks because, uh, of course, uh, Tom Jurich, after hearing about Wake Forest releasing the information that this guy gets fired, uh, Jurich immediately fired out with, Okay, yeah, we found out some information. We found out the coach, Ronnie Galloway, assistant or assistant offensive coordinator, uh, used to work with L. Rod on, on a staff at Army, uh, and he shared some information. Um, I think that Louisville really, really put themselves out there by the fact that Tom Jurich just basically shoved Louisville into the limelight. So instead of it being a Wake Forest situation, Louisville just had to shove their name into it even more. Louisville's already getting a lot of attention. You have the Heisman Trophy winner. You have some other scandals and things going on. Sexy time? I, yeah, I, I, I think that Louisville would have been better served if they just shh, just be quiet for a little bit because I had a feeling this guy's been trying to give away stuff for three years, so I knew that there were going to be other teams involved. And to me, if Louisville waits, um, you know, a day or two, that news cycle of the other teams kind of would help downplay a lot of this. But Tom Jersey just basically just or, shoved himself or, right in know, front. Or, or a better idea, don't do a press conference. Do a press release. Wake Forest, I mean, Virginia Tech just did a press release. And the press release was all the vanilla press releases that you expect uh, an administration to put out. Hey, we don't know nothing about it. Yeah, the dude contacted us. He gave us some stuff, but you know, we was like, ah, whatever. Threw it away. It's Wake Forest. We don't care. We're Virginia Tech. We're good. We apologize to our fans, family, the presiding elder, the ministers visiting the church, uh, alumni. We, we, we apologize to all those folks. Our bad, but we didn't do nothing with it. We're good. And that was it. Easy press release. Louisville could do the same thing. Tom comes out pretty much and says, yeah, you know, we got this stuff. Yeah, we may have incorporate it into our game plan. But wait, didn't use any of the uh, the plays we, 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 we learned about. So, eh, what does it matter? No, you know what? Luba has gotten a, a bad boy image. You know, he had Rick Pitino and, like, his 15 million sexy time scandals with him and the basketball team. Uh, Bobby Petrino with his... Uh, his past history of flirtations with other schools, and then the motorcycle incident. And since been, you know, since 
you know, he's been at U of L. He's actually been pretty clean. You know, I had to give it to Bob. You know, he's been pretty clean. You did have the the player, like I, like I mentioned before, the, the two football players getting shot at a party. Uh, they were supposed to be celebrating uh, Lamar Jackson, but you know, from everything that I've learned about the party, there really wasn't. You know, shooting is always bad, but they were escorting guys out that were on one part of the university, they didn't go to school. Some people felt nervous. They did the right thing, escort them out. Things can escalate from there. So, you know, I can't fault the players on that one. But still, it's just a bad look. So, Louisville, here's some advice. Since you already got the sexy time scandal guy, Rick Pitino, and, you know, all the stuff in the basketball program, and you got Bob Pitino who has all this baggage with him anyway, you know, people say he has a loose program with guns and weed and, you know, all this other stuff. Embrace it, man. Just embrace being a bad boy. Just admit it, man. We're like the you of the Mid-South. You know, like the you. Of the, when I say the you, not, not, not today's mammy. I'm talking about in the 80s mammy, back when they were just like Miami. They did everything down there Miami. It was the you, that, when it was the real you. Not the fake you, but the real you. Back when Mike Horvath was there, that you. Just embrace it. Next time I have a press conference, Tom, just come out there with, with your best Steve Jobs black turtleneck, your Chuck D. Wranglers, or if you prefer the Brett Favre Wranglers, but I like the Chuck D. Wranglers. Bring out the Chuck D. Wranglers, the old school uh, Run DMC Adidas, the old school Run DMC Shell Toe Adidas with three black stripes. The white Adidas with the three black stripes. Adidas love it for it because, you know, we... They sponsor Uville anyway, so they'll really love that look. With your sunglasses, and come out there next time they ask you about some Wakey Leak scandal, just take the sunglasses off, look them right in the camera like a professional wrestler would, and be like, are you kidding me? This is the University of Louisville. We did a cheat to beat Wake Forest. Wake Forest! Please, and walk on out to press conference. Literally drop the sunglasses on the podium and bounce. And be like, give them, an L, give them some L's and jet. Yeah, I, I, embrace the bad boy scandal. <laughs> Just embrace it. Embrace it. You already got the DJ anyway. Get another DJ. Get two DJs and just embrace it. Battling DJs at, at the football games. Bring them to the basketball games too. Just, just go. Just, just, just go full Monty with it. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. I can't. I can't do it. That. That's going too far. I can't do it. That. Yeah, maybe going too far. But, look. but a turtleneck and the Wranglers and the Adidas stuff. It's a good look. Wow. Good look. Uh, look, at, at the end of the day, you know, somebody was lying. Then when Coach Bobby Petrino got on the radio and said that they didn't know anything about it, either somebody withheld information from Bobby Petrino um, or Bobby Petrino was withholding information from everybody else. At the end of the day, Louisville is doing too many things to draw a lot of unneeded and unnecessary negative attention to the program. Uh, I don't think, you know, some people are taking it, like, way overboard, uh and it's not that big of a deal. Louisville's actually made it a bigger deal with the way they've handled it. So, I mean, if anything, they can learn from this, and you would have thought they would have learned it by now. Hey, it's just sometimes. Sh- I just, all the, after all the sexy time scandals, sh- you're probably like, yeah, you know, we need to pass on I this mean, one. But Tom Jurich, man, he's he just seems like he's been uh, he's been he he's you know we, we we heard about everything in his his comments about the Yum Center, and now uh, this you know he comes out and basically says whatever. You know, I don't know. It seems like a new TJ, but I'm telling you, the black turtleneck is coming. <laughs> you don't see Tom George at not maybe not this press conference, maybe not the next press conference, but literally within five press conferences, you don't see Tom George with the Chuck D Wranglers, the black turtleneck, the black shades, and the shell to Adidas. It's gonna be a whole new look. I'm, I'm, it's coming. I'm, I'm telling you, it, it's coming. Wow. Well, you know what? In this last minute. Uh, just want to let everybody know we got a couple of big things coming up this week. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be out at Freddy's Lounge. Uh, Second on Broadway, baby. 220 uh, Broadway, uh, West Broadway. Uh, we're going to be out there. We're going to be doing Main Event After Dark, our second Main Event After Dark. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Bring a toy, and there's drink specials for everybody who brings an unopened toy uh, out there. Uh, of course, we're doing our big toy drive as well. 
uh, at uh, Montgomery Chevrolet. Our man Steve Mudd is uh, for the second year in a row uh, going to allow us to come out there. We're going to have the boxes out there, so bring your toys out there. We're going to hopefully have some giveaways and special guests as well. Um, so that's going to be going down uh, for the Main Event Sports Show Saturday, 6 to 7 p.m. at Montgomery Chevrolet, the Big M on Preston. So make sure you guys uh, get out there. And a special thanks to all our great sponsors, uh, Lavish Life Hair Boutique, Verizon Wireless, the Peer Group, uh, everybody who does all the great things, as well as Montgomery Chevrolet uh, and Steve Mudd for once again opening up his doors for the Main Event Sports Show to kind of make Christmas better uh, for those in the community. Hey. Download the app, go to the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, search Main Event Sports Radio. It's the first thing that pop up. Download the app. Go to our website. Man, we got great articles, all the shows are up there. Main Event Sports 101.com. Go up there and find everything you ever want to know about the Main Event Sports Show is up there. You can also follow us on Twitter at me sports and at Rashawn. That's R-A-A-S-H-A-A-N. This is Haven. And this is Rashawn. And without any struggle, there is no progress. Peace. Peace.